What are you doing? We're painting. We're getting getting into the paint the rocks craze. First painting little patriotic rocks. I'm not patriotic. You're not a <laughs> You're not a born and raised. I wasn't American. allowed to paint the German flag, so <laughs> <laughs> I told her she could paint flowers if she wants. If you're just gonna paint them white, why don't you just drop them in a bucket oh, sure. of white paint? Look, that didn't work out. Like Easter eggs and then pull them out. <laughs> you probably had too much. And did you let this dry first? It's not that hard. It's goop. It's goop. <laughs> you probably had too much hey. paint brush. Hey, you try it, okay? <laughs> it's not that hard. It's just a blob. It's a blob. Well, you can, that's, painting is forgiving. Painting rocks. Look how quiet they're getting, painting rocks. Yes, people need to do this with their children. Children, heck, if I'd have known this kept you that quiet. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, these rocks are hard. Some people wanted to know what I filled my crap with the other day. <laughs> I'm about to show you what kind of sealant I used. Um, I think that's my lap sealant, isn't it? That's my Dicor lap sealant. There's my magic brown stuff. Uh, Dynaflex 230. Uh, it's 100% waterproof, indoor, outdoor. It really does the job, and we got white, and then I've got, for the inside, I use clear DAP, and we use that like around the shower and around the sinks and things like that. And we also have this, I don't know, what is it called? Polyphene seal, that's even better than the uh, Dynaflex. I like this better actually. It seems to bond a lot quicker. So that's what I put in my crack. Okay, so Mike Brazil, one of our subscribers. I hope that's how you say his name. Yeah. He wanted to know about our little uh, grill, our little barbecue that's not a pit. We got our little Brinkman um, three years ago at a Home Depot down in Santa Maria, California. So you know how grills change every season so I don't know if you can even still find it but you might be able to find it online through Amazon and we have an Amazon link so um, it's perfect for us for this is how big the inside is so I can get four or five barbecue um, chicken breasts on here or a great big steak but it's perfect for us so here's how big it is do and that again how big it is and um, we, we really like it um, we got the uh, the hose attachment so that we could hook it up to a big thing otherwise it could take the little tiny cans and we didn't want to keep doing the little tiny cans so because we barbecue a lot or not really barbecue but we grill a lot so like our camouflage yeah <laughs> Happen to be handy. So it's really it's handy. This has a little clip on it. That's tight. So when we pack it away down in the basement, I still have the box that I set it in just in case it's got, you know, little crumbs or grease, it doesn't get on anything else. But it's it got blown over in the wind one time, so it's got a dent and a chip. It has an owie. It has an owie. But it still cooks. Yep. But it's we really like it. It's a great little grill. And oh gosh, I don't remember how much it was, but knowing you, it probably didn't cost very much. Hey!